Hello, lovely denizens of the lush valley. Hello! I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Lee Newton. It's been a crazy almost year here at the Valley Folk, and today we're gonna hop in an imaginary yet spacious time machine and revisit some of the Valley Folk's best moments. <laughs> That's right, Lee. The Valley Folk Not Quite a Full One Year Look Back Compendium episode of Revisitation and Reflection is chock full of classic Valley Folk moments, like singing cake while eating cake. Compliment bullies! <laughs> that one time I ordered Chipotle for the office. Elliot's 23rd sick day! <laughs> and of course, that rat that's hiding and breeding in the ceiling crawl space. <laughs> so many great memories! Mm -hmm. Including that one time Joe played a prank on Steve. No, f you, Joe! This is not how you treat your friends, man! This isn't how you run a business! Dude, it was for a video! Oh, it's for a video? Then maybe I don't want to make those kinds of videos. You understand me, dude? I don't want to work here anymore. I'm taking the day off. F you, man. Can't believe this. Good times. Hey, welcome, welcome to, to your show. Put those fingers away, you little monster. What are you doing? What are you doing here? What is this? What, what are you up, trying to be? What stuffed animal are you, you trying do? to get out of the machine? You psycho. Look <laughs> at what it. that does. Look at <laughs> what electrical socket are you going to stick that in? Then like, I you... just, I just, I'm, I'm... Oh, hold it, hold it, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, Steve, they are, you have, mon they're monsters. Do Hi. you have both of them. Also, Watch what is, I'm... look at all the directions ah! I go. Ah! It's this one that you shouldn't be allowed to do. Look at that. Yeah, it's a oh chicken my ball. goodness! Yeah, Put my hand in a bowl of gumbo. Why is I don't want Mix your hand in my gumbo? Why not? <laughs> How else are you gonna stir up the gumbo? I just stick my hand in it and stir it. <laughs> your hands are all callous because you built up a tolerance because you've been stirring hot gumbo. <laughs> yeah, gumbo years. hands. I stick it in while I stare. They're just too. crusted. There's like steam. Yeah. <laughs> all gumbo hands. Mix. Uh, waiter, my uh, my gumbo doesn't seem very. Stirred? Oh, well, allow me to stir your gumbo. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, that, oh my. Oh, I don't like the noise that he's making. <laughs> Would you like hands? to have a lick of the I'm soup out like, of the bowl? Actually... Oop, got a clam caught on my pinky. You want to oh. take that off? Dude, everyone loves that place because you can go get your gumbo stirred by yeah. Gumbo Dan. Yeah. <laughs> the Gumbo Man. Yeah. Gumbo Dan, the Gumbo Ooh, Hand You're going to want to get there early on the weekend. You're going to have Dan, to call at gumbo least three hand weeks yeah. in Gumbo Dan, the, the Handy table. Gumbo Man. Yeah. Gumbo Dan, the Gumbo Just Handy Dan Man. <laughs> <laughs> handy Dandy gumbo. gumbo Dan. <laughs> Stir right. your gumbo with his hand. <laughs> Let's answer some questions. All right, Gumbo. Allison Carrier says, I've been very forcefully helping my husband learn who the Valley Folk are and how great they truly are. Thank you very much. I love that. Thank you. The problem is he can only person he can remember is Lee. Oh, all right. He can, uh, only, he person can only person he can remember is Lee okay. because she's wonderful. Totally not because she's the only female. Oh, that's All right, Allison. Thank you so much. It's actually really okay. sweet. Okay. No, that's really right, nice. And well, you and Joe look exactly the same. I don't think that's what you're not. True. Hold on. He's got Joe and Lee Elliot's names down, but mixes them up. Got it. Okay. See? That's when he sad. sees a picture of them or on a stream, and he just can't remember Steve at all. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. So, gentlemen, make my husband remember your names. Please and thank you. Imagine every time you see you in a video just being like, now who, is this, is he new? Is that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, who's that guy? So we need to make I him, do. okay, I got it. This All is right. how you're gonna remember. Hey, Allison, husband. Pay attention, class is in session. My name is Joe, I am this man. That is Steve with gumbo hands. No, no. That is Elliot, he hates everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one that wears f***ing glasses. <laughs> That's not true. Sometimes I yeah, wear glasses sometimes and sometimes Joe wears that. Okay, I'm the only one that wears a f***ing captain hat! <laughs> there you go. Elliot, you want to give him anything? A j Elliot's the dry one. Get that tattoo. Is that yeah, I do, I, I, my name's Elliot. It sounds like my personality. Too many redundant letters in his name. Yeah. We don't need two L's. Oh, okay. Tall one. Oh. Well, I think we need oh. to go positive. Shorter That's one. Like neutral. Yeah. Oh. E uh. <laughs> no, it'd be Elliot. Elliot. <laughs> ah. 
you're being so mean to that. <laughs> Your question: okay. What's a YouTube channel without collaboration? Mm, lonely. <laughs> <laughs> the Valley Folk, not quite a full one-year look-back compendium episode of Revisitation and Reflection, reminds us that we had so many special guests we couldn't keep the fridge stocked with complimentary off-brand sparkling water. That is the truth, Lee. It was a problem. Our front door was a revolving door of doriness that people use like a door when they visited the office. People like Mike Falzone. The Mailman. The Arrowhead Water Guy. Also, Mike Falzone. Oh, that lady who thought this was sweet four. Also, our neighbor who once again was asking us to keep it down. And Mike Falzone. Also, Fike Malzone. But let's not forget that one special memory of when Epic Mealtime's Harley Morenstein stopped by. <laughs> <laughs> and remember when Liza Koshy was here? Yes. It's been six hours. Liza Koshy poops a lot. And that time that Harley Morenstein stopped by. <laughs> and internet comedian Nicole Arbor. We're all trying to be politically correct so that we don't offend anyone. I don't care if you're offended. If you don't have a sense of humor and you don't understand jokes, I don't give a f She's so edgy. Yeah. Poop, my favorite color M&M. So many videos, so many guests, so many moments. Lee. What has been your favorite Valley Folk moment thus far? Oh, Joe, that is a tough one, but I'd have to say it was that one time that Steve got revenge on you for that prank. Well, that's funny. I don't recall that happening at all. All right. Lisa Ovidia <laughs> Canardle? <laughs> Please tell me that K is silent. Nardle. Let me try it silent. Canardle? Lisa Ovidia Nardle. I get stupidly angry at slow people in slim corridors. Mm. What makes you guys mutter incomprehensibly as you project your inner tension to the world? I know it immediately. Ooh, what is it? Driving. No, like, I, I get road rage. Like, in my car, silently, I say really, really horrible shit. But sometimes other people will be in the car with me and I forget, and then they're like, oh, I you can, have rage. Yeah. If I see trash that's not in a trash chute, if oh. people leave trash like around yeah. or like, because I live in a big apartment complex that's filled with like viners and just really douchey rich kids. <laughs> and so when they leave the trash kind of a humble near brag, like the, uh, the thing, but not in it, um, it, it absolutely, truly infuriates me. I don't like it when people drive too slow. Or you're like on the freeway mm -hmm. and there's like all the lanes but are going. Can I ask you this? And then there's just like a car going way too slow and you're stuck behind. Well, that's it. like also dangerous. Uh, can my I ask you this though? Yeah. Have you ever passed someone that was driving and then they were like really old and you went, oh, I'm sorry? Oh, every time. I'll get angry and then I'll go, oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's like a free pass. Oh, all right. It's I like just say, like, go home and go to sleep. <laughs> Stop driving. Mm -hmm. My driving one is like, it's anti. Um, Did you bring some for everybody? I'm full. No, no, no. He needs to share with the rest of the class. I'm okay. You're, it's, mm -hmm. He's he's pass it down. No, no, no. I mean, I could switch seats. You want to switch seats? You need to share with hey, the rest switch of the seats. class. Yeah, here I'll just scooch over. No, no, no. You get up out of your seat, young Morgan. Here I'll scooch over. <clears throat> it's, do you sit down? Oh, I wasn't. Do you want me to do I'm what I was full. doing? No, share right now. Same thing I was doing. Uh -huh. I'm saying. I don't want your. Uh -huh. out of here. Well, don't let's get out. Of here. Okay. I just you made me think you wanted it. <laughs> I think it's. <laughs> I've been in this situation before. Folk, not quite a full one year look back compendium episode of Revisitation and Reflection has so many top notch memories, I don't know if we'll ever top. I mean, how could we with moments like Scuzz going to a puppet strip club? Or like when we got our buttholes sprayed in Trivia Bidet. Or that one time that we ended your show with Joe saying they'd wanted to make sweet, sweet love to Anthony from Queer Eye. Uh, 
<laughs> Let's cut to a clip. <laughs> This is from user Strensum's Implants. Oh, oh love that. Strensum's is um, Don't get them. It's a reference <laughs> to SourceFit. Yeah, Strensum's is a good brand. And what uh, is Source? Yeah, uh, who, who really knows? Times you thought you were gay, times you realized you were gay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Times you realized you were gay? Times you thought you were gay, <laughs> times you realized you were gay. I have been uninterestingly um, pro female my most of my life, like 99%. Like I wish I had a little bit more wavering because it would have been way more interesting. The times that I thought I might have been was like fourth grade, fifth grade, sometime around there. I had a really, really uh, vivid sex dream of a best friend who happened to be male, and that wow. messed with me for a while. Was it good? It was confusing beyond all belief. The time that I knew I was gay uh, was when I watched the newest season of Queer Eye and I fell in love with um, Anthony. Anthony. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anthony made me gay. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony is. So, an it's a bummer he's gay because I would love to have a shot with him. <laughs> I think. Yeah, you would never have a shot with him. You would never have a shot with him. <laughs> yeah. Times I thought I was gay was when I tried to play soccer and I was like, maybe I can do this because my lesbian friend was like, really awesome at soccer. She was really cool and she really knew who she was. I thought that was pretty cool. So I just wanted a little ounce of that, you know? So I was like, maybe I'll play soccer and, and also maybe I'll try and like women, you know? Why is your voice getting deeper? It didn't work. Oh, oh uh, back up. there okay. it goes. Like but the time I, I knew I was gay was... We're gonna, uh, go We're gonna go back down. Yeah, we are going back down. Christina Ricci. There it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Kirsten Dunst and Jumanji. Um, huh. I mean, when I was a young boy, mm -hmm. like going into my teenage years and then through a little bit of like, I'd say to sophomore year of high school, my parents thought I was gay. Mm. Oh, I went through that as well. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Because I was just listening to the Pet Shop Boys all day in my room, and then I would have sleepovers with my friend Jeff way too often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he would come out of the room and we'd all be sweaty in there because yeah. we'd just be like, you know, having sex. Yeah, I never, I think, uh, if anything, I've had a difficulty with people being like, he's too straight. <laughs> <laughs> a difficulty. No, let me, let me do, do it. it. Right again, right again. No, that's actually the perfect read of that, because he couldn't actually do it. You could not 100% do I it. I think that. I can't, because wow. I had a whole he's, thing in my wow. head. <laughs> no, I think that's it. I think, unfortunately, that is the read, man. I was going to go into how much I have, how I have too much testosterone. <laughs> I think if you checked my like l hormone levels, I'd probably have like a pretty shocking amount of estrogen. <laughs> uh, pretty Mr. sure. Goes, I've got your feminine. results here, and you have what a seems to be <laughs> a, uh, a shocking <laughs> amount of estrogen. Yeah, I never. I've. I have. I don't even lean slightly gay. I don't think. Obviously, I've done very suspect things on camera that would make people believe that, and the painted nails and things like that. But I just, yeah, I just don't, I do, also, I, how kind you of got nothing is off limits in the joke world for me. But I've even had those kind of hypotheticals where it's like, who would you rather sleep with, this person or this person? And it's very hard for me yeah. if it's both hey, men, you know? All, all this time to, we kissed, it was a joke? Oh, absolutely. 100% a joke. Oh. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for liking the video and subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell so you get notifications. If you're just joining us here at The Valley Folk, we're just getting started as a comedy production company and it's super fun and super helpful. If you want to sign up at patreon.com slash The Valley Folk, that's the lifeblood of this business. And in the meantime, let us know in the comments below what you think about uh, the, uh, this new hoodie. We've got hoodies in midnight blue and also in golden wheat gold. <laughs> Are you sure it's not honey I like mustard? This one. No, because like, it's like a nice, sweet little yellow. It reminds me of honey it mustard. It makes it happy, but also the blue looks really good with my eyes. Mm. I want to put this in a sandwich. You guys, these hoodies come fully equipped with thumb holes, also drawstrings, what else? zippers, and, and hoodies. Hold on, Joe. Wait. That hoodie has drawstrings? What a feature. Wait, there's more. Pockets. Oh, and what? hold on. There's a smaller inner pocket for you to put all your drugs. Hold on, are you currently on IV medication? But wait, there's, oh no, I already told you. No, that's pretty much it. We appreciate wow. you guys so much and we love your patronage. Thank you. Thank and we you. love your viewership. Love Not your viewership. one, but two drawstrings. Not one, but two. Do you hoodie guy? 
Hold on. Is that a pocket? Wait. Technical one drop. Wait, is that an IV? 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 Is that because it's a it's like a masculinity thing and it's weird, fragile, and there's a weird stigma around it. But it well, because women sure. are f-ing beautiful. Well, yeah, and we, well, yeah, <laughs> men are too. But yeah, it, it's a yeah, it's a very it's there, a lot easier. No, there is a thing we can all agree: like, women are beautiful, beautiful. gorgeous. Yeah. No, not it's at all. Like two steadfast Sex. rules: yeah. one, women are f-ing beautiful. Beautiful. And two, so is Anthony. Like he's got this yeah, really calm yeah, demeanor, yeah. and like. He's